Hello everyone, welcome to Chef Chelly's Kitchen. So today I have a real treat. It's another soup. Um, so Deidre, this one is for you. Uh, Deidre likes it when I make soups. And hey, this is being taped in the winter time um, and soups are the perfect thing to keep us warm. So I uh, was at a restaurant not long ago and um, they had the soup. It was butternut squash apple soup. And it was topped with pumpkin seeds. And I'm thinking, how is that gonna taste? And let me tell you, it was fantastic. And when I started thinking about the ingredients, um, just a very healthy, hearty soup. It was served with a small piece of cornbread. Um, and I had a salad. It was fantastic. And so I thought, you know, let me see if I can find um, and come up with a recipe for butternut squash apple soup. And that's what we're doing today. So I'm going to show this to you actually in kind of three steps. I've got actually my heat going now. The first thing that we're going to do is um, I'm going to go on and put the onions. And again, I'll put the quantities um, on the site for you but essentially I'm putting the onions in chopped onions it's just a quarter of a cup and then I have some garlic two minced cloves of garlic okay so you're going to put that in and all we're doing here is really kind of softening up the two ingredients okay just to get the savor plus also make sure house smells good too <laughs> So um, what I've done in preparation for this um, so that it wasn't it would not take as long is I actually cooked the butternut squash prior to. And so um, once I finish sauteing this, we're gonna actually go over to the other counter. And then I'm going to walk you through how to prepare the butternut squash, but I want to be able to show it to you, okay? So this is good right here. We're gonna stop right here on this side, and then we're gonna come back because um, this is nice and sauteed and tender, okay? So let's pause now, let's go. Okay, so let's go now to this master mixing. I have so many ingredients here. <clears throat> that you're going to need, um, but I believe it's well, well worth it. So the first thing that I want to show you to get us to this point, so you know we grilled the onions and the garlic, okay? I have that sitting over here. In addition to that, I've already pre-cooked the butternut squash. So listen carefully, I'm going to go through how you get to this stage, okay? And then we're going to be just mixing some of everything. So one of the things that you'll note about these, um, about the squash, the pieces here, and it's hot, is that they're really kind of diced up in little cubes. What I did was I took one large butternut squash. So it was about, I'm gonna say eight inches long, about this wide. That will yield you about five or six cups of butternut squash. And that's pretty much what you want. Enough basically to fill a cookie sheet. So I peel the butternut squash first. Then I sliced it four ways. In the inside of butternut squash, it has seeds and veins. You want to take all of that out, throw it out. And then you want to take that squash and dice it up into these just cube sizes like I have here. You then take a piece of aluminum foil, that's what I have here underneath, aluminum foil, put it on a cookie sheet as the base, and before you put the butternut squash on there, you can use one of two things. You can use coconut oil if you have it, it'll be much healthier if you do that. You just take about two tablespoons of um, coconut oil and then just spread it on the aluminum foil and then take that squash that you cut up like these cubes and put it on top of it. 
If you don't have coconut, coconut oil, and I will tell you it is very expensive, if you don't use it frequently, you probably are not gonna um, wanna buy it. It's about seven, eight dollars in the grocery store. You can use some butter. You can use about a tablespoon of butter and just spread it along the aluminum foil and then put the um, butter dot squash, squash on top. You're gonna then, before you put it in the oven, sprinkle it with three things, salt, pepper, and cinnamon. Now, here's a big warning. When you put this in the oven, with that cinnamon on top of it, your house is going to smell so yummy. Oh my God, it will be amazing. <laughs> you will, you know, someone comes in your house, they're gonna be like, oh my God, what is that? Or hey, if you're trying to sell your house, Make some of this before the people come and your house will smell just heavenly. So I cook this for 45 minutes. And the reason why I wanted to cook it as long as I did is because it needs to be soft enough because we're going to be putting it in our blender. Okay, so um, that's pretty much all it, all it took to get the butternut squash at this particular point. So I've got a number of ingredients I'm going to be adding, <coughs> excuse me, to the blender. I've got, obviously, you just saw, we sauteed the garlic and the onion. I have a um, one orange squeeze, so that's juice from one orange. I have um, three cups of water. I have um, carrots, a half a cup. I have dates, okay, and I have one apple. And then I have four cups of almond milk. And basically we're gonna puree all of these wonderful things together. I do have my pumpkin seeds, but that's gonna be just for garnishing at the end. So this is about a whole migration of putting all this stuff together. <laughs> so I, whenever I use my blender and I've been doing smoothies in the morning, and then I will tell you this is a Vitamix um, I'm not getting any endorsements. Well, maybe not not yet, but hopefully soon. But I do love my Vitamix. It is fairly expensive, but I look at it like this. The Vitamix is like four machines in one. First of all, it chops. So whenever I want to have chopped onions or celery, I put in my Vitamix. So that's one machine. It's a chopper. Uh, when I make smoothies, it's a smoothie machine because you can dial it all the way up to like a high setting and it's, it makes a perfect smoothie. Um, it's a blender. So if you need to mix things together, it's a blender, um, which will do that as well. But then it's also a food processor. So that's why it's able to take these apples and um, dates and um, it'll even you can put peanuts in here and it'll puree it for you and make peanut butter so it, it is expensive but if you think about it in terms of it being four machines in one and i don't know about you at my counter i usually i've had like all of these different devices i've like taken all of them away and replaced it with this so I am a lover of Vitamix, I will tell you that. And like I said, they haven't paid me yet to endorse it, but I would love to be paid. So I um, always, when I'm using the machine, I always like starting with liquids on the bottom. So what you're gonna do is um, just, you, I've got this right here, my four cups. I'm gonna pour that because it makes it easier to blend. And I'm not putting all of it in because I've got a lot of stuff to add here. Next, I'm going to um, take my um, butternut squash and I'm going to put that in here as well. Scoop these in here. Again, this is like massive mixture taking place. Okay. And butternut squash can be hard. So that's why you, you know, I, as I said, I cook, kept mine in the oven for 45 minutes to make sure it was um, what I needed it to be, okay? And so this is, and what's gonna happen is, I mean, this is obviously hot, but nothing else is hot. So what you may wanna do, I enjoyed having mine um, warm when I ate it. So you may want to, you know, once you blend it, um, you may wanna put it then, you know, kind of, 
warm it up. All right, let's go on and put our onions and garlic that we sauteed. Okay, I've got, as I said, I have a lot of stuff going on here. Um, we've got the carrots. Let's put those in as well. Let's go on and put in our apples. Just one apple, I'm saying apple. And dates. Okay, got that. And then let's start actually a hymn. I feel like I'm my father now. He likes cleaning up along the way. So I think you all saw that. <laughs> Try to get some of this stuff out of the way. Actually, I'll just put it over there. Okay, next, let's go in and add kind of the rest of our um, liquids. And I really feel like I'm going to have to pause on some of this because... Um, it's full. So let me go on and start blending this before I put in the rest of my water. So I'm going to um, have the blender on. You're not going to be able to um, hear me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'll, I'll go, I'll save you the trouble of not being able to hear me. We'll pause the camera so that I can go on and blend this. And I'm going to put this really on high. I, I always start my Vitamix off with just the start stop button and it starts chopping it and then slowly and incrementally I turn up the speed and that is what makes it the puree. Okay, so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and show you how it looks. Okay, all right, let's do that. Okay, so voila, we have this perfectly mixed. I know you're probably saying that machine didn't do that. <laughs> Yes, it did. Um, it is a beautiful. It's thick um, because of my size. I didn't have enough room to put the additional um, two cups of water. So what I'm going to do now that the mixture is completely pureed, right? Um, we're going to take this because, as I mentioned, I like serving mine warm. I'm going to now just put it in a pan like so you'll see oh my god it's so creamy and some of you might say hey well why add any more water again it's it's all about what you like um i do want mine to be a little thinner um so and i'm gonna get every every scrape that i can out of this blender and once i finish this as i said i'm gonna put it on the stove and i'm just going to warm it up remember we're not cooking it. We've already cooked everything that needed to be cooked. Um, we just want to warm it up. And you can put it, even if you wanted to put a bowl of it in your uh, microwave, you can do that. But I'm just putting it here because I'm assuming you're going to be making it for more than one person. Okay. So we'll put that aside. And again, it's nice and thick. You'll see. Very, very, very thick. And it, that Vitamix, again, it definitely does the trick. So I'm just going to add a little bit of more water at a time just to thin this out. And this is where, you know, hey, you might say that's enough. That's the texture that I like. Then wonderful. Great. That's all you need to put in there. Um, I'm going to keep adding mine though. Uh, okay. So, and I'll put all of the amount for you so that you'll have it, okay? Again, it's kind of personal preference in terms of the thickness that you want. Again, we're putting on the stove only for the purpose of warming it. We're not cooking it, we're not, we just want to warm it up, okay? So, this looks really good to me. This is a good texture for me. And I'm um, going to kind of hold it up. It's really kind of hard to, to see that way. But again, here you can see. But this looks really good. So we're going to go on, put it on the stove just to get it warmed up. Um, then I'll come back. We'll put it in a bowl. We'll garnish it with some pumpkin seeds. And then we're going to take a taste, okay? All right, let's do that. All right, now's the time. So what I've done is, I'm going to raise this bowl up, is I've garnished it with pumpkin seeds. So I just took um, some pumpkin seeds and sprinkled on top of it. 
and it just adds a nice little texture to it. I remember seeing it in the restaurant. I was like, how's that going to be? It's so fantastic. So here's your soup, your app, your butternut apple soup, uh, butternut squash apple. And I did also have some cornbread. So, you know, the recipe's on the site. So let's go on and get a taste, okay? And I'm going to make sure, I'm actually going to mix my, um, pumpkin seeds all throughout it. You can see how creamy that is right there. So let's take a little taste. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my gosh. That is so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. This is delicious. You're going to love it. Um, that's all I can say. That's all I can say. It's totally delicious. So enjoy your butternut squash apple soup. Um, I did add all of the water, all the remaining water once I put it in the pan and I just stirred it in gradually. But you can see the texture. It's totally delicious. I hope you enjoy it as much as I'm about to enjoy this with my cornbread. And it's lunchtime, so perfect time. Thank you for tuning in. Please continue watching Chef Shelly Tompkins. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.